spiritual sacrifices. Back in the day, lambs were used as a sin offering to atone for man's sins. Only unblemished lambs were chosen as the offering. To them, offering a prized lamb was a sacrifice because it was valued and just might have been worth its weight in gold to the tribe. This was part of man's spiritual evolution or transformation from flesh into spirit because once he learned the animal needed to be sacrificed he would come to understand that he would have to sacrifice himself specifically his animal side his selfish egotistical clever greedy take care of me side once he could do this man would operate as spirit in this world be in it but not of it a passerby as Jesus says in the Gospel of Thomas saying 42 you must be a passerby Jesus demonstrated this spiritual evolution or transformation and once this lesson was taught man no longer needed to perform animal sacrifices as a sin offering. This was the only part of God's law that changed or the new covenant agreement not a new law. The fact that animal sacrifices which were put to death were but types and could never take away sin for the animals had never sinned Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 11. However the nature of the animals is as full of this physical evil principle called sin as the nature of man although it cannot be called sin with the same expressiveness because it does not possess them as the result of their own transgression the name however does not alter the nature of the thing the focus of these words is seen in that so far as true believers are concerned they are not to offer to God something outside themselves on the contrary they are to offer themselves to Yahweh as men and women who are living proof of the truth at work in themselves transforming them to conform to the image of his son animals were brought to the altar alive Jesus is always alive after the resurrection he is now immortal we have an altar says Paul in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 10 who is Christ God's saints are dead unto sin but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord as those that are alive from the dead see Romans chapter 6 verse 11 and 13 this type of sacrifice apparent under the ritual system of the law of Moses only in type and therefore hidden from all except those who sought the spirit of the law is a spiritual sacrifice resulting from the enlightenment of the mind to the divine will the conviction gained therefrom providing the motivation to strive to perform the acceptable and perfect will of God thus spiritual sacrifice is a refining process that is constantly going on in the consciousness the animal sacrifices on the altar represent the transformation of the conscious to the next higher plane of action this is a process of reformation that pertains to those who put on the new man the altar represents the place in consciousness where we are willing to give up the lower to the higher the personal to the impersonal the animal to the spiritual we must purify our mind and art by the spirit in order to begin the regenerative work when this blessed 
realization of the regeneration comes to consciousness, the voices of men are heard by the Lord and their prayers ascend even unto heaven. When we have faith in God we are willing to give up all our material pleasures. This is the point that is also symbolized by the sacrifices so often referred to in the history of the children of Israel.